Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good uh, evening class. Okay, uh, so now uh, for our one hour slot, we will discuss about the gas law continuation from uh, last week. Okay, so last week we have discussed about boys law. Okay, Charles law. Uh, Charles Law and Avogadro's Law. Okay, so these three laws, when we combine, we will get ideal gas equation. So, PV equal to NRT. Okay, PV equal to NRT. Uh, okay, so at the same time, when uh, some of the variable is uh, are constant, okay, such as when uh, number of mole and uh, gas constant, gas constant is a constant, so we will have uh, the combined gas law P1 V1 over D1 is equal to P2 V2 over P2, okay, so this is one example of combined gas law. Or we can have, okay, and if, okay, the temperature is kept constant, okay, we will have the relationship between P, V, and also N. So, it will be P1, V1 over N1 is equivalent to P2, V2 over N2. So, this is the example of combined gas law. So, it will start from P, V equal to NRT. Okay. okay, so since uh, you have completed okay, the exercise uh, 5.1, so we'll, we will move to the next uh, section, the next uh, gas law, which is Dalton's law of partial pressure. So what is Dalton's law of partial pressure? What is partial pressure? So the, uh, this is whereby partial pressure is the pressure okay, exerted uh, individually by uh, the gas okay which is which are in the same container so we have gas A gas B and gas C uh, are placed in the same container so the pressure exerted by gas A is uh, what we is what we call as partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of B and partial pressure of C. So, we have a container. So, we have gas A, B and C. So, each of the gas will exert uh, its partial pressure. So, the P total, total pressure is the sum of partial pressure of non-reacting gas. Okay, means that A won't react with B and B won't react with C. So, individually, it has its own partial pressure. Okay, so this is what meant by uh, partial pressure. So, we can refer to ideal gas equation. So, all of our equation will refer to ideal gas equation, PV, uh, which is equal to NRT. Okay, so PV... Uh, is equal to NRT. So I write again. So if we have here, okay, partial pressure of A, we can substitute number of mole of A, R, gas constant, temperature in Kelvin, and the volume. Okay, so we can find the partial pressure of A, partial pressure of B, and partial pressure of C. Okay, so this, uh, what we say, this partial pressure is, if you look at the formula that uh, stated okay okay in the equation uh, so in the slide okay so we notice that RT over V is constant so this one you can see RT over V is constant okay RT over V is constant okay so NA okay plus NB plus NC is equal to N total so we can write the formula as P total is equal to N total RT over V also. So, we manipulate our ideal gas equation. Okay, so from ideal gas equation, uh, one of the uh, way to find the partial pressure of A is by using ideal gas equation. 
Okay, or with the second method or second way, we can use the mole fraction. Okay, so what is mole fraction? So for example, here is the partial pressure of A. So partial pressure of A is uh, equal to XA. XA is the uh, mole fraction of A. Okay, mole fraction of A, which is NA over NP times with uh, PP. Okay, PP, so this is the formula. Or we can write uh, mole fraction of A is equal to uh, NA, eh, sorry, not NA. So X mole fraction of A is equal to PA over PP. Okay, you, uh, we rearrange okay, the formula so that uh, as we want. Lah, okay, uh, so we, if you want the mole fraction, we want to calculate the mole fraction. Uh, we uh, rearrange so that the partial, uh, the P total uh, as is at the bottom of partial pressure of, of A. Okay, so next. Okay, so the water displacement method. So water displacement method is the method to collect gas, okay, to collect gas over water. Okay, so the gas, okay, we can take Example here uh, for the reaction for the uh, dissociation of silver oxide solid, which is heated. Okay, it is heated and it will produce uh, silver. Okay, and oxygen gas. Okay, oxygen, oxygen gas. Okay, so we balance the equation. O2, this one will be uh, 2 moles of silver oxide and 2 moles of solid silver. Okay. This dissociation reaction okay, will produce oxygen gas. Okay. So normally the oxygen gas that is collected uh, from the experiment uh, heating experiment is uh, uh, we are going to use the water displacement method. So, in water displacement method, we have a container full uh, with uh, water. Okay, so this is a water level here. And after the reaction completed, we can find that the uh, level, okay, the water level is decreasing. So, why it is decreasing? Because we have, okay, at uh, the empty, uh, we look at, at uh, macam, uh, as empty, okay. So, the spaces here is filled with uh, partial pressure of oxygen gas plus partial pressure of water or water vapor, okay. Water vapor, so it is equal to atmospheric pressure. P total is equal to atmospheric pressure, uh, which is P oxygen plus vapor pressure of water. Okay. Okay, so next, uh, we move to the first question. Okay, question number four. Okay, so I pick a few questions to discuss. Okay, so a mixture of gases contains 0 0.1 mole of carbon dioxide. So, uh, underline the number of mole of carbon dioxide and 0 0.3 mole of oxygen. So, note that carbon dioxide and oxygen is not reacting with each other. Lah. It's not uh, reacted with each other. So, the D, uh, we can write it individually. Lah. Okay. Therefore, uh, the question asks to calculate the partial pressure uh, of the gases if the total pressure is 760 mmHg. So, this one is the P total. Uh, mole of CO2 is mole of CO2 and oxygen mole O2 okay, is 0 0.3 mole. So, the, one, uh, the question asks for Partial pressure of CO2 or and also partial pressure of oxygen gas. So since okay, we know that uh, P total okay, is equal to
fraction of A times with, sorry, uh, okay, so I think uh, I should delete this one. So this one is P total. This one is correct. But the formula yang, uh, that we will, we will use, uh, for example, uh, the formula that we are going to use is PCO2 is equal to fraction of CO2 times with P total. So can we use the formula partial pressure of CO2 is equal to NCO2 RT over V. Okay, so you have we have here two different formula but we give the same okay uh, partial pressure of CO2 okay so the first formula using the mole fraction and P total but the second formula required you to substitute the um, gas constant the temperature and the volume so you check the information in the question do you have the temperature and volume for the action okay so there is no information about these two variable okay so therefore we cannot use this formula okay so we use uh, pco2 equal to fraction of co2 times p total so Fraction of CO2, okay, fraction of CO2 is mole of CO2 over mole total. So, mole total will be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.4. So, mole fraction of CO2, 0 0.1 over 0 0.4, okay, you get it 0 0.25, okay. So, okay. We substitute 0 0.25 times with uh, 760. So you will get the answer of uh, partial pressure of CO2. Okay, so how uh, to find the partial pressure of oxygen? So partial pressure of oxygen okay, is equal to P total minus PCO2. Okay, so from the Dalton's gas law, we know that P total is the mixture of O2, partial pressure of O2 plus partial pressure of CO2. So this one is 760, and if uh, the partial pressure of CO2, you get uh, X value, so you minus X here, and you will get partial pressure of oxygen in millimeter mercury okay class okay next okay uh, question number 8 okay so we read the question carefully so there are two vessels that are connected by a closed valve okay you have vessel a so vessel a so that means Underline here, vessel A, so the volume is 1.5 liter, so V, and neon gas, so vessel A, eh? so this is vessel A, and neon gas at a pressure of uh, 0 0.395 atm, okay. Okay, so we have vessel A, so we can draw here. Container for A. Okay, so we have uh, so we write 1.5 liter neon. Okay, neon and uh, 0 0.395 atm of um, I think I get, uh, wait, let, let us read again. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, sorry, so, uh, mistakenly, uh, read, okay, the information. Okay, so, the volume of the, of vessel A, okay, vessel A is 1.5 liter, okay, then, uh, the pressure, uh, 
uh, pressure of neon is 0 0.395 atm. Okay, then we have vessel B contains uh, 2.5 liter argon, so means that the uh, volume of the container adalah, uh, is 2.5 liter and the pressure is 0 0.658 atm of argon. Okay, so we are, uh, vessel A contains only neon and vessel B contains only argon. Okay, and then uh, these two vessels are connected. We okay, are connected uh, with the closed valve. Okay, we have a valve here, valve, and then uh, the temperature. Okay, the temperature that we use here is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. Okay, calculate the mole fraction. And the partial pressure, okay, mole fraction, which is the X, okay, X what? X of neon, partial pressure, uh, sorry, mole fraction of neon and the partial pressure of each gas, okay, mole fraction of neon or mole fraction of argon and also the partial pressure of neon, partial pressure of argon. Okay, after the valve is open and thoroughly mixed. Assume that the temperature does not change. Okay, note that when the valve is open, okay, uh, the mixture okay, uh, or the uh, gas will mix okay, and the volume will change. Okay, note that the volume will change. So, the final volume will be 1.5 liter plus 2.5 so this one is 4 liter okay so this one uh, for neon gas okay the what we say the formula that we can use when we have the change from 1.5 liter to 4 liter so it means that the pressure will be different for neon and also argon okay therefore since uh, the pressure is changing because uh, the volume is changing okay so the law gas law that we use is boy's law okay so this is boy's law so we can use uh, for neon gas we start with for neon gas Okay, for condition 1, okay, we can state for condition 1, P1, B1. So, this one is P1 and the volume is V1, okay. And this one, after uh, the container or the vessel, okay, the valve, okay, uh, they are connected, okay, both of the vessel is open. So, the volume is changed to 4 liter. So, you is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay, equal to P2, V2. Therefore, we substitute uh, 0 0.395 okay, ATM times 1.5 liter is equal to P2 times with 4 liter. Okay, V2 is 4 liter. So, sub get the volume uh, of uh, sorry, the pressure, okay, the partial pressure of uh, neon, okay, which is P2, okay, so the value here, you find the value, okay, you calculate the value. So, next, uh, for argon gas, okay, argon gas, use the same uh, gas law, P1, B1, equal to P2, V2, whereby, P1 is 0 0.685 uh, 658 okay, 0.658 times 2.5 liter equal to uh, P2 unknown and V2 is 4 liter. So find for P2. So P2 for argon is the partial pressure of argon. Okay, so you find the partial pressure of argon which is uh, 
A and partial pressure of neon, we can see, say A as B. Okay, so we find mole fraction, uh, sorry, the partial pressure. Next, the mole fraction. Okay, the mole fraction, we know that mole fraction of neon is equal to partial pressure of neon over with P total. So, P total is A plus B. If P total is A plus B, so fraction of neon is equal to B over A plus B. Then you will get the mole fraction of neon. Okay? For mole fraction of argon, you can find it by Okay, you minus 1 over, over mole fraction of neon. Okay, so that's for mole fraction. Okay. Okay, so next. Okay, so we have uh, one question from Campran here. So try to solve this uh, question and uh, you can ask if you have any problems with it. Okay, so as uh, for homework also, you need to, uh, other than uh, question number 44, okay, uh, for question 38, 41, 40, and 44 uh, must be submitted in GC. So later on, I will uh, upload, okay, the number of questions in Google Classroom, okay, I think. Um, that's all for um, Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. Okay, thank you class. Okay, Assalamualaikum.